Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to teach you how to alter your file system tab file in order to automatically mount a hard drive in Linux. You will need root permission in order to do this. First thing we want to do is find where the hard drive is listed in the system. So we run sudo fdisk l. I will note that fdisk is a potentially harmful command to run if you use the wrong options, but L just lists partitions. Now in this case, the one we would want to mount is dev sdb5. The next thing you would want to do is make a mount point for the file system, which I've already done. It is opt storage. Now make sure to make a mount point an empty folder. If you put anything in it and you mount the hard drive or partition in that folder, you will not be able to retrieve anything that was previously put in there unless you unmount the file system. Next, you would actually alter the file system tab now I've already got it open, but it is located in etc. and it's just fs tab. Got it read only open here, but that's all we need at the moment. Now you'll notice several columns here and a lot of bits. For example, the first one is file system. That's where we found it using the S or F disk command rather. The second one is the mount point, which is where I showed you earlier. Opt storage. Now the third option is the type. That is the file file system type. For example, as you can see here, I'm using extended four. That's what I tend to set my volumes to, but you could be using NTFS, FAT, Extended 2 or 3, Riser FS, HFS. There are quite a few different options in regards there. And then there's the Options column. Now, as you can see, I got four options already defined. There's RW for Read and Write. It can also be set to RO for read only. There is auto, uh, which means it will automatically be mounted upon boot. There's also no auto, which kind of defeats the purpose of altering the files system tab, in my opinion. There is user, which means it is set to where a user can mount the file system, not just root. There's exec, which is execute. That means that programs and applications can be executed from that file system. Another option that I did not put here is sync or async. Now the deal there is sync means the moment you tell Linux to put a file on that partition, it will write it then. If you set it to async, it will wait until the system tells it next to write to that partition. If you set it to sync, it's a little bit more useful in that if you accidentally remove a drive, it you won't have to worry. It will already be written there. But I don't bother with that. And then the last two, dump and pass. These simply refer to essentially file system checks and in what order they are checked. I always just leave it at zero. Uh, you can set these to where the file system will be checked and what order they can be checked but that's not something I'm going to get into on this video. 
All right. I hope you found that useful. Just let me know if you have any questions. I will do what I can to help you.